Let's make one artboard that has all of your images in these three artboards all together now. So you can go over here to the artboard tool and we will make this, um, you could see I'm just dragging out a box and then up here you have W and H. So for the height, let's just make it five inches. If you put IN, there will be no confusion about uh, the format. And the width, um, let's just say uh, 16 inches. So five by 16. Now I'm going to take all of these. So I went and I changed to the selection tool. I'm going to click and drag a box around all of the objects and everything in these three artboards. If I just click and drag it, I have moved um, I've taken the objects from those artboards and put them in, but what happened is now I don't have them in the original artboards anymore. So as you, what you can do is copy and paste while you're clicking and dragging. So if I select all of this with the selection tool and then I press option or alt on your PC, at the same time, you'll notice that now I have a double arrow. I'm holding the key down, holding, holding. I can also press and hold down shift. Shift allows it to be in line, otherwise it can go everywhere. So if you hold shift down, it goes straight up and down. And I'm also copying while, because I'm pressing option or alt. Now take your hand off your mouse or your trackpad, and then take your hands off Shift and, um, and Alt. So I made a copy while moving at the same time. What I could, if you that's too complicated, you can just do Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. Okay, Command-C, Command-V, Control, right, Command, Control. All right, so now I have all of my stickers all in one file. And what we want to do is we want to save this artboard um, that has everything in it. We already saved these up here, so we don't need to do that again. If you don't know what artboard, which is which, you can go to the artboard tool here and it says, it says four, this says two, or one, two, three, four. I only want to export artboard number four. So I'm going to go file, export, export as. I need my first name, my last name. This is stickers. We want this to be a JPEG. I'm going to use the artboards. Instead of saying all of them, I'm going to say a range, and I only want number four. Make sure you know where this is um, going to save to, because you need to access this file later to post it to your discussion, the critique, and also to submit to the assignment page. So let's export, and then RGB is okay because this is for screen, for web, um, screen 72, that's okay, that looks good. Um, you want sRGB is good, so I'll say okay. So now you could go to the finder or wherever you find your files and just make sure that your, um, your file is there, it's a JPEG. So this is what I'm going to use for submissions. 
the last thing is to put your name on this. Let's put our name on this. Just in case you don't do the file conventions correctly, which I get a lot of. So let's do, you can go to the type tool, which is T. If you just press T on the keyboard, it's also right here, T, T for type. And I'm going to click. It just put in some random, lorem ipsum is a filler text. We want to put our names. So put your first name, your last name. And you can select all, Command or Control A. And then let's change, if you go to Window and Character, it's under Type, and Character, it's Command or Control T. We can change the font if you want. Um, I have my own font that is my handwriting, so I'm going to choose that one. And you can see here this is a pop-out window, and I can make this bigger so it's legible. So that looks about good. And now let's take the selection tool. We don't need this anymore. I'm taking the selection tool. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Command or Control minus. And I just want to put this somewhere not, um, we're just signing our work and put it, you know, don't put it like distracting, just put it at the bottom right corner. Um, so you want to do this before you export. File, export, export as. We'll get some practice in here. This is the file. Um, right. My first name, my last name, stickers. This needs to be a JPEG. You watch the extension change. Your extent. Watch your file names. You shouldn't have. I see you this a lot. I see GIF. I'll see this GIF. Dot JPEG. Don't do this in your file saving. This is a problem. It's gonna mess up. So make sure that. There's only one dot in your whole file name. The dot needs to be after the name and before the extension type. Don't have more than one dot in your file names. Instead, you can use spaces or little dashes, underscores, work to like that to separate words. We want to Use the arc words, the range, we want number four. We're going to export. This looks good. I'll say OK. Now let's look at the file in the finder. So you can see this is the one from before, and this is the one with the name on it. Uh, make sure you put your name and submit the one with your name so that we know who did what. You're, you know, you're signing your work, you're, um, you don't want anyone to steal your original art, just as we do not plagiarize or we do not steal other people's art. The same goes for us when we make art, um, right? We don't want to sue anybody. So uh, put your name on it and that will help when you put it out into the world. People will know uh, who is the artist there.